So for uh, number eight, it wants us to calculate the first eight terms of the sequence of partial sums um, to four decimal places. And so that just means that we're plugging in from n is equal to one all the way out to n is equal to eight into this formula. And then we're summing up all these terms. So we plug in n is equal to one and we sum that to n is equal to two and we sum that and so on. And so um, the first sum here, so S1, well, we have nothing to sum except the first term, right? So that's going to be, um, that is going to be equal to minus one to the power of, that's going to be one minus one to the power of zero and over, um, over one factorial. And so minus one to the power of zero is one over one. This is going to give us one. Um, and then we have that S S2 is going to be equal to, actually, maybe I'm just going to move this down. Um, S2 is going to be equal to the previous term, right? So S1, which was 1, plus uh, minus 1 to the power of 2 minus 1, 1, over 2 factorial. And um, so when we sum this up, we're going to get uh, 1 half. And then S3 we're gonna have the previous sum, so S2 plus minus one to the power of three minus one to two over three factorial. And this is gonna give us 0 0.6667. Um, and then for S4, we're gonna have the previous sum plus minus one to the power of four minus three, so three over four factorial. And when we sum this up, we're going to get uh, 0 0.625. And then for S5, we're going to have the previous sum plus uh, minus 1 to the power of 5 minus 1, so 4 over 5 factorial. And um, this one here should give us 0 0.6333. S6 is going to be the previous sum plus uh, minus one to the power of six minus one, so five over six factorial. And um, this one should give us 0 0.6319. S7 is gonna be the previous one, so S6 plus um, minus, and this is getting in the way, so plus minus one to the power of, um, to the power of six divided by seven factorial. And when we calculate this, we're gonna get uh, 0 0.6321. And then lastly, for S8, when we calculate this, we're gonna do S7 plus minus one to the power, and uh, this one here is looking quite bad. I'm gonna have to minus one to the power of six, okay. To the power of seven over eight factorial. And this is so close to 0 0.6321 that it has a few uh, trailing decimals, but when we round it to four places, it's gonna give us the same thing. So what we can see here is that um, as the terms increase, the value is getting closer and closer to 0 0.6321, right? To the point that the more terms that we add, um, we don't even we don't even budge here because it's all within the it's all the decimals that are left over and so it does appear so we're gonna say that the sum the sum from one to infinity of a n uh, appears to converge to zero point six three. That's my guess, right? I don't know if it's exactly 0 0.6321, um, but it definitely does appear to converge to 0 0.63 and something. And so that is it for number eight.